Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I tend to talk about a variety of different subjects. Most of them have to do with people being unfairly treated or people not understanding stuff. It's, it's, it's varied. Anyway, today I decided to talk about um, the detainees, the immigration um, detainees that are getting one pound an hour capped at one pound an hour. They're doing all the work that professionals, that the private providers, you know, they're in these privately owned detention centres. And instead of getting um, proper cleaners in and proper workmen in, they're using the detainees to do the work and paying them one pound an hour. Now, to me, that slave labour it's another form of, it's a legalised form of human trafficking because what they do, they take away their passport so they're vulnerable. They're in a vulnerable situation and they're making them work for little or no pay. To me, that is human trafficking because at the end of it, they're waiting removal for the country and that's what human traffickers do. They're just doing it in a way. I mean, to be honest, the Home Office are saying, oh, it's voluntary. They enjoy doing it. It's a rewarding job and it's very popular. They haven't got anything to do in there. Of course, it's going to be popular. It doesn't mean that they really want to do it. And worse, for one pound an hour, if you're going to, I mean, we have a minimum wage for a reason. A national minimum wage for a reason, which now George Osborne has rebranded as the national living wage. Now, the national living wage is meant to be how people, uh, the standard of living that people are expected. They're supposed to earn, a, you know, a standard of living to let them live a decent kind of life. The national minimum wage is to do with the labour market. Now, if they set a standard living wage for everyone over 24 plus or a standard living wage for everyone over 24 plus, that should apply to the detainees. But you know why it doesn't apply to them? Number one, immigrants, because most of those, it's an immigration detention centre. So you know that there's they are immigrants. They are probably whether um, alleged or actual foreign criminal offenders, and they could be illegal immigrants. Whether or not that is, applies to all of them or not, but that is the inference when you hear of immigration detention centres, that it's full of illegal immigrants or foreign criminals that is, that is it. So they don't want to pay them a pound an hour, but they'll play prisoners who have done murder and who have done all sorts of serious crimes. They pay them the minimum wage. What does that tell you? If you're going to pay prisoners the minimum wage, you should be paying immigration detainees the minimum wage, as far as I'm concerned. Now, 130,000 are on, well, I don't know if they're on the minimum wage or they're covered by the minimum wage, but the national living wage is affects 3 million people. Now, what they're saying is they're kind of promoting the minimum wage, even though it means um, no more overtime, you know, because employers, they can't afford to pay the minimum wage. So if they do have to pay the minimum wage, things are going to cut, aren't they? So they cut overtime, they cut hours. And guess what? They're talking about we're moving towards a nine hour or 10 hour week to save the, to save the, the, the energy, the climate and goodness knows what else. What they're really doing is forcing us to go in poverty. That's what they really that's what they really want to do, because they know that where there's poverty, there is war. They want us all to kill ourselves. Basically, that's what they're pushing. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. They look for any excuse to justify their, oh, the decisions that they make.
It's absolutely preposterous. Now, there are detainees who are actually appealing against the one pound cap in the immigration detainee centres. Good for them. So it's under the human rights law, you know, because, yeah, I mean, if they're going to, you might as well make them work for nothing and say, this is what you've got to do. But you can't let people do jobs in the prison, clean the prison, fix everything and then pay them a pound an hour. That's absolutely disgusting. That is exploitation. That is slave labour. And to me, it's a legalised form of human trafficking. And that's all I've got to say. Let me just double check. I haven't um, missed out anything. I've put that they're exploiting the vulnerable, and they are vulnerable. What else are they going to do in a bloody detention centre? Um, yeah, I was also going to say, you know, when they, um, the employers, when they have to pay the increased minimum wage, which they say is going to go up to about £9 by 2020, it means they're going to hire less workers. Hire less workers, it means more unemployment. Um... Yeah, and I said they're going to discourage overtime, and um, and people say they're worse off. They're getting they was all excited about getting a higher minimum wage, but now that the overtime's been cut and um, certain sessions have been cut, they're not happy campers. They're worse off. Anyway, yeah. So I don't feel I don't feel. Um, I feel sorry for those detainees who are wait they know they're waiting to be removed and in the meantime they're probably maybe they are voluntary doing it because one pound an hour is seven pound a day. Seven pound that's forty nine pound a week. And depending on how long they're in there, at least they'll have something when they come out, and that's probably the way they're looking at it. But the fact of the matter is, is that they should be getting the minimum wage if the minimum wage applies to everyone. And like I said, if it can apply to prison staff, prison detainees, it should apply to immigrant detainees. Because that is where you see the bias come in. It's got to be said. That's all for now.